I, uh, yeah, this is a log splitter that I got off on Craigslist. I put an ad on there that I was looking for one. And the guy uh, had it. Had to do a little bit of repairs on it. It ran when I got it. I used it until I got all my wood split. And then I took it apart and I cleaned uh, um, out the tank. Walded it up a little because it was leaking. I had to put a ledge on it around the motor because it was leaking around there so all, all I gotta do is just put caulk around there now that will stop it from leaking like it was before but uh three hundred and fifty dollars I paid the guy wanted four for it but he went down a little bit so yeah. I wouldn't, couldn't see I wasn't wanting to pay that much for it or something now I'm gonna have to do some repairs on but as you can see, it's got a, a Honda 5.5, a good running motor. So, hmm. take a couple of angles here, different angles, different places. You can see some of those welds I did to kind of fill in the, the gap all around. What I didn't fill will usually should be sealed with when I put the caulk on it. I haven't put the caulk on it yet, but because I want to change out the uh, oil, but I want to run it and see how it ran now that everything's tightened down. Before there was only a couple bolts holding down the motor itself to the plate, which was missing a, a bolt. Um, <clears throat> the plate that holds down to the tank only had two screws in it and it was wiggling and jiggling all over the place so, so I have to repair that um, the valve the the auto shut off or the auto return to turn it off wasn't working so I had to uh, extend it out a little bit here put our nut on between these two welded them on and then I had to weld this on so that because that's I come out here farther it it changed the uh, the angle of everything to sh so that this would work to, to shut it off when it comes back so um, I had to weld a washer and a piece of angle iron bend this a little bit and we weld this stitch welded that back together it seems to work all right now so you know I'll start it up so you can hear it run Let's sit here and turn the switch on should start the first pull I think Don't move this bag. Don't move that bag. Okay, that's the now, here's what I had. Here's what I, here's what I fixed on it so that it would shut off. You go to like that, hold back. You know, automatically turn. Or at least to the end there. As you can see, it's getting closer and closer. Wood. But I got all the wood split, so I don't have any more. It's just a You see, it runs pretty good. Forward. So now I'm going to get a new valve and a different pump for it. So that it moves fast. Thank you.
Not bad for 350, I guess. Yeah, some may say it might have been a little too much, but for what it takes to buy it, to buy the parts to build one of these, or even buy a used one that's in better shape than this, cost you six, seven hundred dollars. So I think I I got a good deal on it. I think. I mean, like I said, some may think that I might be paid too much for it. But when I first got it, this there wasn't a plate here. It was all underneath here. They must have gouged out. There's like a rim that goes all around the tank. <coughs> Excuse me. They had cut that back. I don't know what for. Made for a different motor that they had on here before. But anyhow, there was like that much of a gap underneath along the edge of the motor, which all the oil would splatter out. And they tried to put caulk, but I don't know if you know <clears throat> the base of these motors, they're not solid across the bottom. So there's like, you know, there's indentations, you know, they follow this on the inside. So all that they were trying to fill with caulk, it didn't, it wasn't holding, so... I welded these plates on the sides. Um, I welded on both sides and then I belted up some weld so that that um when I put that caulk on her now it will seal it. But right now I didn't put no caulk on it because I'm gonna replace the fluid in the um reservoir. But right now I'm just reusing the same fluid that I had gotten when I got the machine. So, yeah, I don't know how, what color it's supposed to be, but it's more like a milk, milky color. Uh, this is what I I stopped pouring it in because I noticed that there's a lot of settlements in this particular. This is what was come out of the cylinder at the very end. <clears throat> I took and put an air hose on it. The air hose on it and blew all that out. Um, so, well, anyhow, I'm going to show you a couple more plates. Let's show you on the back here where I went. I actually went all the way around. I tried to get as best I could. <clears throat> I had to do some grinding, filling, grinding, filling, grinding, filling. So I got it all the way around to hope. So at least it was, <clears throat> I had to weld some of these studs in here for the motor. I think it was one back here. Either, I don't know, it was either that side or the other side over there that didn't have one. <clears throat> this is the other plate that I <clears throat> welded. <clears throat> like I said, they had one bolt, one screw here. It wasn't tight. It was, it was stripped out. There wasn't nothing over here at all. I, I drilled that out and put a bolt. And welded the nut in or bolt in there, so then I could bolt that down. And uh, there's where the other bolt hole, the other screw was over here. This didn't have one. It was a hole there, <coughs> but the screw wasn't there. There wasn't a hole here at all on this side. Uh, it, they had it cocked off or something. They didn't have nothing in it. But I drilled the hole out and put a quarter inch bolts and tack welded them from underneath that was a pain in the butt because I couldn't see what I was doing I had more or less this <clears throat> look at the metal as it heated up so I didn't pretty much know that it was <clears throat> hopefully <clears throat> hold there good this is a dipstick um, show you again what the damn oil looks like it's more like a friggin milk color nasty to say I gotta replace that but right now I can't afford it right now so once I get new fluid and then I will drain it out take the motor back tank back off cap top back off wipe it out good try to blow as much out <clears throat> with the air compressor as I could <clears throat> get all the old oil and stuff out so that's about it <clears throat> Not much more to say about it. So, 
Thanks for watching.